What is good to the family? It's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I want to break down what's happening with Tesla stock and why next week is going to be absolutely massive as we have massive catalysts coming out, not to mention the big shareholder meeting. But before I begin the devil's information, before I get into any more details, let me just mention a few things. I'm firstly not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link, which is down below and in the description. If you sign up for Weeble and deposit $500, you're guaranteed uh, 20 free stocks. And the offer ends very soon in just about 10 days. Anyways, for Tesla, as you guys can see, Tesla's been consolidating back and forth and back and forth for about a month from now. I mean, it's been stuck within this range for the most part. There was one instance where Tesla did break above it before, before coming back down, and it's just kind of stuck still. So it's very, very boring to see. And also, since like you know, the last two and a half weeks, it's been completely stuck. So we're just waiting for a very, very big catalyst to move this. And I suspect that the shareholder meeting is going to be the catalyst. Once we get some new numbers, once we have the FOMC meeting and everything, things should change. But I want to talk about next week first. Next week is going to be absolutely massive for Tesla since we have so much data coming out. I'm going to break down what the data is and also what's happening with Tesla. So on Monday, it's going to be very minor. We just have a couple of bill auctions coming out, nothing too crazy. On Tuesday, it's the same thing, just a bunch of bill auctions. But then Wednesday is when things get serious. Wednesday, June 12th, do not forget that we have uh, CPI data with core CPI and everything all coming out. This is going to be an hour before the market ends up opening. So we have lots of important inflationary data coming out. I can't wait to see what this causes. It's going to cause a very, very big and volatile move. And we're going to be watching to see if there's a little decrease or not in inflation. But this is going to be key for the markets. It's going to be key for the FOMC meeting and what you know Jerome Powell and the Fed ends up doing. So that's going to be very important for Wednesday before the market opens. And then also on Wednesday, we have the FOMC meeting. So at 2 p.m., we have the interest rate hike decision coming out and the economic projections. The Fed's going to tell us what they plan on doing with interest rates. And then finally, at 2.30 p.m., we have the press conference with Jerome Powell giving his notorious speech where he's going to break down what he sees for inflation, what his plan is, what the Fed is going to be doing, how things are looking for the economy. And he's going to be answering a lot of very important questions. So Wednesday is going to be a massive day. You have to remember this. We have CPI data coming out. Then we also have the FOMC meeting and Jerome Powell speech. That's going to be pivotal for the way the market ends up moving. For Thursday, we have the PPI data report coming out. This is going to be very important for wholesale inflation. It's going to give us more insights on how things are looking, so I can't wait to see what that causes. And then finally, Friday is when we have the Michigan Consumer Sentiment Report. Uh, we have some data coming out in the morning, and that's it. But just know that the data gets very intense between Wednesday and Friday for the week, and that's going to be key for all of us. Now, for Tesla, on top of all the data that's coming out that does affect it, we have this coming out. We have the 2024 annual stockholder meeting, which is going to be happening on Thursday, June 13th, 2024 at 3.30 p.m. Central Time. Now, the reason why this is important is because uh, there are going to be a lot of different proposals coming out for Tesla. And this is when we're going to see the results from all the votes from shareholders about Elon Musk's pay package and such. In my personal opinion, like I said earlier, I personally support Elon Musk's pay package. I think that it's going to be uh, very useful, not just for Tesla to keep uh, Elon Musk on board, but I think that, <laughs> excuse me, it's going to take way too long to essentially forge another one. And if you know, shareholders vote no, it's going to be very costly and such. I went over this many, many times. And also, you have to know that this was already approved by shareholders. This was approved back in 2018. Musk held his end of the bargain by helping Tesla run like crazy. He made amazing, amazing steps to make Tesla what it is. So you have to consider all of that and the growth projections of Tesla. Remember, Elon Musk did not have a salary. He's not getting paid to work for Tesla. He simply is going after the pay package, and I think he deserves a lot for it. So I believe that it you know, it works in Tesla's best interest to support his decision. If not, there's going to be a lot of difficulties. But when it comes to what I think, guys, like I, I'm going to, you know, vote yes. I'm going to be honest with everyone. Uh, I think that's the best move by a long shot. But for the people who have different beliefs and don't support it, right, it's not going to be good for Tesla's business. Uh, I will not change the way I view anyone for what they choose to do and if that's what they believe. Uh, but at the end of the day, guys, I have my own beliefs and I'm always ready to kind of just, you know, uh, speak to anyone about them. And if someone disagrees with me, that's completely fine. I will respect you no matter what. But that's personally my view. The best view would be to just support Elon Musk and vote yes. Uh, that's the way I see things. So moving forward, what do I see for the share prices for the market? Keep in mind, guys, the weekend is coming up. So I'm going to make this video very quick. Tesla is just stuck between 173 and the 180 area back and forth for basically a month. So I think that we're going to see a big move 
We happen to have an inverse head and shoulders. That makes me sus suspect we might see some upside into the 200s. We have to try to close above 180 for one day to get there. We're actually not too far from that. If we do get a dip, thanks to like a possible head and shoulders, if this does lead us to the dip one time before it tries to balance, we'll see. But either way, I think that the ultimate move is going to be to the upside. Could we get a short-term move to the downside? Yes, but the ultimate move will be upside later on. So I still favor upside. I think that Tesla has a lot of potential nonetheless. For SPY, SPY looks to me like it's going to dip a little bit. And when you look at the four-hour time frame, it's contracting. We're also trying to lose this trend line. So I wouldn't be surprised if we actually dip a, a bit lower to about 531.5 to about 529 before we try to bounce. But I suspect that that's very probable for a little dip before SPY tries to continue moving forward. But I do see that as a strong possibility looking at the four-hour time frame and what we're seeing on the MACD. For NVIDIA, NVIDIA saw this big red bar right here. We also have the support where our 20 EMA is around this 1180 area. If we lose this, we'll be dipping all the way down to about the 1165 area as well. Uh, so we have that gap to fill all the way down here. So we'll see how things go. But for now, we're just going to maintain our current structure and just maintain our stance. We're kind of choppy right now, but there is a risk of it dipping a bit before the stock split for NVIDIA, which could cause a big rally. So there could be a little dip first before it tries to bounce. But overall, it's still holding up quite well. It's just very, very minor, guys. Nothing too crazy. You know how much NVIDIA can move in a single day, so that doesn't matter much. Bitcoin's dipping just a little bit. We have resistance around uh, 69,700. We have support all the way down here around the 68,000 mark. So I wouldn't be surprised if we kind of pop a bit and drop a little lower. And then for the QQQ, just like SPY, I do anticipate some downside. I wouldn't be surprised if we actually dip towards 460. So I anticipate a little bit of downside. I think there's a very good chance we dip a bit more. For Apple, we are pushing very nicely. Uh, we still look bullish, technically speaking. So I wouldn't be surprised if we go a little higher towards 198 before we try to reject. Apple is showing some strength. Supermicro is showing weakness. We have a head and shoulders. I wouldn't be surprised if we dip all the way down towards 750. And if that fails us, we'll be dipping even lower, looking at the current trend. For a few more, uh, I just want to say that GameStop is, once again, it kind of popped and dropped with all the halts that were happening. Because we're below 28.7, there's a risk of it dipping to fill this gap towards 23. So it looks a little bit more bearish to me. Same thing with AMC. It's looking a little bit weaker. If we lose 4.88, we're kind of below that in the after hours right now. If we lose that, we could come down to fill this gap too. So that's something else that's worth noting. So for Meta and the others, guys, I'll talk more about the overall market and all the tickers on Sunday. For now, I'm going to keep this video short. The same thing for my video on Saturday about where I see Tesla going and some very important projections. So I have another video coming out tomorrow. I'll be breaking down more information about the markets in Tesla. And then that's not going to be a long video, just another one that's about eight to 10 minutes, hopefully. And then for Sunday, that's when I'll come back and I'll give you guys all the stocks out there. I'll be talking more about Meta, the Amazons and everything like that. So I'll be talking more at least later on. So with that being said, I just want to say I, I really appreciate every single one of you for your attention, for listening. Don't forget that the shareholder vote is coming up. So do what you have to do, guys. And I'll see you guys very soon on the next one. Thank you for listening. Have an absolutely spectacular rest of the day. And I'll see you guys very soon on the next one. Thank you again, guys. And peace out.